everybody, I'm Bree the Plant Lady, and today I am continuing to work my way around my property to sort of preemptively cut down summer plants as we finally get into having freezing temperatures. Now, I've also got a seed class that I'm hosting on Saturday, and I need to make some more room for attendees to be able to do the hands-on element. So I'm gonna take on the bed behind me. I'm gonna go ahead and cut down the castor beans, harvest the seed, cut back any of the perennials that are in here and rip out any of the tender annuals that are definitely going to melt when we get into the mid twenties in a few nights. So stay tuned for my progress. has been my favorite zinnia that I've ever grown. This is Queenie Lime Orange and I want to make sure that, because I'm going to rip the plant out, I go ahead and harvest any good looking flowers to bring inside to enjoy, but I also am going to be here collecting seed and I've collected seed off of this a few times already. Basically, um, <laughs> It's like, I don't know whether this was bred to be sterile. It doesn't really seem like there's viable seed, although yes, there is. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of take these petals off, put them into, like, into a bucket. I'm gonna let them dry for a few days, and then I will kind of further evaluate where the seeds are um, actually, here is what the seeds should look like. I'll show you up close and personal. Hopefully that will, there you go, it's in focus. So, you know, it's a tiny thing on a big fluffy flower. And this is why I usually collect in mass and then over time dry them out and then try to separate just the viable seed. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm not gonna lie, ripping out these marigolds is like the hardest thing ever. First of all, I think they're gorgeous. The smell of them reminds me of my childhood. It reminds me of my grandparents. It's like that scent memory is so strong. Oh my gosh. This is a great variety. I think this is the duck from All American Selections. Um, and it's just, this got direct seeded on July 15th. The Hort Science Camp students literally scattered the seeds on the ground and all of this erupted. You see, they're really like enormous plants. And I've already collected quite a few and brought inside for flower arrangements. What is really sad is that there really aren't a lot that have ripe seed, but that's okay. I can always buy more seed. Uh, but I, you know, am a seed addict. I love collecting my own. And I don't really see any ripe on these because they are still just in the process of completely flowering. And, you know, marigolds, also known as tajidis, are really useful in that they deter a lot of problem insects, but they also deter problem animals, things like rabbits, deer, and groundhogs. So they've definitely done their job here, but this is a section that I really want to have open for the class to be able to scatter seeds in. So I've got to rip this bandaid off once and for all. Well, the next step is just to get this well raked, but I don't need to get too far ahead of myself because this is all part of the class experience. I will have the class come on Saturday. I will show them how I'm raking, identify a bunch of the weed seeds that are in here, and ultimately we are going to add the rest of this bag of soil cube into this bed so that we can direct sow right on top of that fresh compost layer. 
but I'm not going to remove any of the mulch that's here. We're literally just going to layer right on top. Well, I'm going to try my best to do some recording from the class on Saturday, but I can't make any promises because it's a lot to be able to maneuver. But I do hope that you will be inspired by this garden clean out and stay tuned for more videos as I continue to post doing my seasonal transitions by direct seeding beautiful spring flowering plants like poppies, larkspur, nigella, and so much more. Well, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Please give me a like, share it with your friends, and be sure to subscribe to the Breathe the Plant Lady YouTube channel for more practical gardening advice. As always, thanks so much for watching everybody. Happy gardening.